for you tonight here on Weather Underground. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bettis. I'm Alex Wilson. We are with you for the next two hours covering three big stories. Very big stories. Contained uh, that fire in Sonoma County. That is the Kincaid fire, uh, by far the largest fire that we currently have burning. Saddle Ridge fire, tick fire. We've got 80, 90 percent containment on these ones. The Getty fire, that's our newer one that we saw break out late Sunday and into early Monday. 15 percent containment. That's the one that's very close to Los Angeles. Angeles, though, prompting all those evacuations. Winds right now have been lighter at Palmdale, 29 mile per hour gusts, San Diego, 22 mile per hour gusts. But for many, the gusts have relaxed. And as expected, today has given us a little bit of respite in terms of the most dangerous fire conditions. But we know as we move forward into the day tomorrow, unfortunately, that setup for a, a great risk of fire is going to be back in play. A strong pressure gradient setting up across sections of Southern California, meaning gusty winds, and these are going to be those offshore warming, drying winds. Mike, the strongest gusts could be in that 70 to 80 mile per hour range. Uh, those not slim, very little visibility is when you've got snow like this coming down. Now, as Mike mentioned, I think for Chicago, we're not going to be looking at huge accumulations, probably in that one to two inch range. But you go a little off to the west of Chicago, and it's a whole different ball game. Five, six inches, so a half foot of snow, not out of the question. In Chicago, average high on Halloween, 56, average low, 39. We're going to, you know, outdo ourselves in terms of that. 35 is going to be the high, the low, 23. The snowiest on record, one-tenth of an inch back in 2014, so I think we could beat that. Snow has only been recorded, by the way, on Halloween in Chicago six times. The coldest high, 31. So do we get there? Not quite, but we'll be close. Uh, we look at a place like Kansas City where the snow showers begin uh, tonight. We've got snow tomorrow. We're going to turn off the snow, though, just in time for Halloween. It is going to be a cold one, though, like 40 degrees yeah. with a mix of sun and clouds. So it's at least drier for Kansas City on Thursday. It's still going to be chilly and, and yeah. there's not you get it. You're a parent and I was one say I'm sure problematic child when you have to mess with the costumes in a way that I didn't anticipate. I don't want to put the jacket on. It's, it's not a fun. fun. No, it's not. It's a there's a fun factor. Yeah, and yeah. wearing a winter coat is not fun. It takes away my princess. Yes. Exactly. And everything whatever else, other, whatever yeah. else everyone's being this year. You yeah, know, you know, Hulk isn't as tough if he's got yeah. a jacket on, you know. Um, he's just bulkier. Thor, he's not yeah. Tougher. yeah, Thor can't. I was going to say, you at least stuck it out for record cold, but you, you can't even say that. But, Mike, you're a real trooper. All right. I'm getting acclimated. Yeah. You know, well, I want to tell you a quick story. Two years okay, ago. Alan, I'm surprised you're not like frozen because this is this is a big jump uh, this early in the season. Mike Seidel, thank you so much. Go get warmed up. We'll check back in with him. Our cold air trajectory. So where did this air come from? Northern Alaska making its way down into Denver. The coldest October high temp you heard him mention. 18 degrees. We hit 19 today, so no go for that. Uh, tomorrow, highs around 18 once again in Denver. That could tie the record. In Lincoln, uh, we think we'll be close, but probably not in record territory. Kansas City, I think you'll set a record. Uh, the forecast high is 34. The record is 35. And in Oklahoma City, a record cold high for you. 37, the forecast. The record is 39. And tomorrow, we've got snow falling across northern sections of Missouri, back into Kansas, even a little bit of Nebraska and Iowa snow showers, Mike, all the way down into the Texas panhandle. Pretty amazing. People won't be returning to their homes. Nearly a quarter million uh, Californians are under evacuation orders statewide. Many of them don't know when they'll be able to return or what they could return to. Thanks for staying with us here on Weather Underground. I'm Alex Wilson. And I'm Mike Bettis. We are closely monitoring the active fires tonight across California. The wind's picking up later tonight. We're going to bring you updates throughout the show, but also tracking Winter Storm Bessie for you tonight as well. Get over here. Wilson, come on in. Gonna come, uh, uh, what do you think? <laughs> what, would, uh, what would stop you? The things I'll do for a hundred grand bar. I will go through rain. I will go through snow. I will go through cold. So I guess nothing for me. What about you? <laughs>
It just all depends on what they're passing out in the neighborhood, but this seems like a pretty good option what right would here. You know? This is worse weather for the trick-or-treaters because we could actually get some thunderstorms, and that's going to keep you inside whether or not you want to be. Moisture returning north. There's our, our stalled frontal boundary. That's going to get that moisture rising. We'll see the clouds, the showers, and, of course, the thunderstorms developing. So our upper winds dip to the south, but our moisture is surging northward across parts of the southern plains and the southeastern U.S. So we're talking about a lot of areas getting in on that moisture. And on the warm side of this slow-moving system, that's going to translate to rain. And also strong low-level winds will help to increase the moisture. So heavier downpours could be a possibility. A heavy rain threat exists, I would say, from sections of, say, southern Mississippi through Alabama, north Georgia, into uh, upstate South Carolina, western North Carolina, particularly that northeast corner of Georgia into, say, uh, the Clemson area up towards about Greenville there in South Carolina would, could be where we see some of our heaviest rainfall amounts. Tomorrow, rain and thunderstorms all across this southern part of the country, and we've also got the possibility of some stronger thunderstorms. Louisville, Nashville, Jackson, Shreveport, Austin, San Antonio, and Houston, all locations that could get a stronger storm. Then on Thursday, Mike, you can see the thunderstorms for a place like Atlanta or Raleigh. That could really mess. Across parts of the south, they would probably like it to be less soggy. But unfortunately, it's needed rain. So you can't necessarily say you're mad at it. Uh, that rainfall total forecast I showed you, two to three inches from portions of southern Mississippi through central Alabama, north Georgia, western South Carolina, and western North Carolina. These are in areas that have been awfully dry, particularly uh, from Alabama into Georgia as well as the Carolinas. This is a part of the country that really needs the rainfall to help with the drought. At last check, we are still dealing with extreme drought there in the upstate of South Carolina, North Georgia, parts of Tennessee, and at least the eastern sections of the state of Alabama. So falling pretty well in line with some of the areas that are going to see some of the bigger rainfall totals. How about Pensacola? Your year-to-date rainfall just under 43 inches. That's over 12 and a half inches below average. We're over 17 inches below average in Tallahassee and over nine inches below average there in Columbia, South Carolina. So these are communities and cities that would like to see the rain, including Atlanta. You're going to get rain, but it's just not coming when you're probably going to be happy about it. Wednesday, thunderstorms. Wednesday night, thunderstorms. And Thursday, that means Halloween day, thunderstorms likely. Well, coming up on Weather Underground.